Hi everybody, welcome to the Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Today I'm going to be making creamy seafood chowder. A favorite of ours and so delicious and it's all in one pot and it's um, sort of easy. There's a few steps but you know, if I can do it anybody can really. So it's going to start with what I did was, uh, and this is an optional ingredient. I fried up some pancetta or thick sliced bacon. I, I cubed it, fried it up. It gives a really good flavor base. I like it. It's not necessary in this, this uh, recipe, but I added it. And then I took it out and reserved it, like I said. And in the pot here, I put in a half a cup of butter because butter is another flavor um, level, which is fantastic, as we all know. And I am frying up uh, one large onion that I diced up. Dan, you want to come in and give that a look? And I'm going to deglaze the pan. So I fried these up uh, just until they're translucent. All right, so I'm going to add a cup of white wine. I'm using dry white vermouth. That's my go-to. We have it in the house, I'm going to use it. It's the same thing as wine, but if you have wine in the house, you can use wine. So a cup of that goes in here. And so what I want to do here is bring it to a bit of a boil and deglaze the bottom of the pan, which means I'm going, to, I'm going to scrape the pan, allow the wine to just pick up all that flavor that's at the bottom of the pan. Again, another level of flavor. Okay, to that, I'm going to add, uh, what comes next? Oh, the uh, sorry, the thyme. I'm going to put some thyme in here. I have um, a, a half a teaspoon of thyme and two teaspoons of seafood seasoning. I buy this at the grocery store. It has garlic and it has uh, onion powder and all kinds of different herbs and spices, but it's so easy. So, that? Yep. That's the brand I got, but you can get just about any, anything. Huh? Got it? Okay. So that goes in there. About two teaspoons of that. All right, let me just give this a mix up. It already smells delicious. Those herbs are beautiful. And you're going to put thyme. And I, like I said, about a half a teaspoon of thyme. Uh, okay, to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of flour because we're making a roux, really, because we want to thicken the, um, the soup, the chowder. So that goes in there. Dan, you want to come over here and take a look at this? This is sort of what it's going to look like. And to that, I'm going to add eight cups of broth. Now, I was lucky enough to, and they make it now, seafood broth. And it's uh, half the, or 30% less sodium, which is really good. So um, I got the seafood broth. If you can't find this, you can use the veggie broth or the chicken broth for that matter. But you're going to put in about six to eight cups of broth. And I'm putting in eight. That goes in there. This goes in there. Uh, if you can't, um, if, if you don't have two bottles of this, you can use water. That's good too. You know, it's really nice if you, if you can make your own fish broth and you would take the, um, the shells of the, um, of the shrimp and you would take the onion uh, uh, drippings or the, what's left over from the onions and the carrots and all that and it just, it'll make a beautiful broth plenty of recipes on the net for that. All right, so here we go. I'm going to get this going. And to that, we are going to add two large carrots, two uh, celery stalks, which were cut up. Uh, you don't want to dice them. You want them to be sliced because you. this is a soup. It's, um, it's more than a soup. It's, it's a chowder. And you want, really want to taste this. You don't want them to be lost. So that goes in there as well. A lot of good stuff in here. A cup of corn. These, this was frozen. You can get the canned corn. That goes in there as well. I mean, this is pretty good, man. All right, and potatoes. We're talking about two pounds of potatoes that I um, sliced up, really uh, bite-sized pieces, because you want them to cook and you want them to be bite-sized, obviously. So about to, it works out to about six or four large potatoes or six medium-sized ones. But again, you can put whatever. Look at the, how much this is going to be. 
All right. And I'm going to put the pancetta back in. That goes in there too. All right. So this is going to, I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to um, let it cook until the veggies, particularly the carrots and the potatoes, are fork tender. About 10 minutes or so. So I will see you, 10, 15 minutes. I will see you back. I'll, I won't let you hang around for that. I'm going to clean up here or Dan's going to help me clean up. And I'll see you back here in a little bit and I'll show you what the next step is. See you later. Hi, welcome back. So this has been simmering for about 10 minutes. Now, what I did was, I think I over uh, did it with the uh, broth. So I had to take some out because I have a lot of stuff to put in. So I, I reserved it here. If I need it, I'm going to use it. If not, I'm going to freeze it and I have fish stock. Love it. All right. So what we have here is 16 ounces of a white fish that I cubed into bite-sized pieces. I'm using haddock. I've got uh, 16 ounces of fresh shrimp. Well, these were frozen, not fresh, but they're uh, uncooked. And I shelled them and I cut them in half. They've been deveined as well. I've got two cans of clams here, the small cans of clams. I think they're 12 ounce. I've drained them and that's going in there too. And I've got uh, scallops, about eight ounces of scallops. All right, so in the pool they go. It's going to be a very hearty soup. And it's going to have, uh, it's going to be very thick. It's almost like a stew, really. All right, shrimp's go in. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to um, simmer this, bring it up to a bit of a boil, and then I'm going to simmer it um, until it, um, until the uh, fish or the seafood is translucent. Whoops. I'm going to put in some heavy cream. I've got a... Uh, three cups here I'll put start off with two well maybe three let's just see how this goes look at this Dan come close I mean this is a stew this is a seafood stew really doesn't look great oh yeah I can't wait to eat it oh my gosh so look at uh, the green what that that goes in later the green, the green stuff, which is the parsley. <laughs> oh, Dan. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more of this in. And I'm going to reserve, I love this, I have got fish stock that has been simmering with, with the fish, or with the, the um, fish stock that I put in originally, as well as all the veggies. So I'm going to freeze this for next time I need a fish stock. Love it. Whoops. So you want to, I, I put in eight cups of stock. You might want to put in six. Unless you have a really big uh, casserole or a big uh, stock pot like this or even bigger. All right. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then uh, I'm going to simmer it ever so gently because I don't want everything breaking up and then everything's going to be cooked in about 10 minutes and we'll come back and put it all together for you. All right. See you in about 10. Hi, welcome back. Look at this. This is awesome. This is your creamy seafood chowder. Um, I'm really happy with it. I did end up putting in the whole three cups of heavy cream. Um, it just And I let it just barely simmer because you don't want to break up the fish too, or the seafood too much. All right, so we're going to give it, first I'm going to give it a taste to see how the seasoning is as far as the salt and peppers con are concerned. Mm, that's mighty good. I'm just going to put a black pepper and a little, little, little teeny, weeny bit of kosher salt. Again, better to put not enough than too much. All right, and you do have seafood there, so it's salty. All right, let me give that, let me give that a, a stir up and we're going to give it a try. Oh, looks so it's more than a chowder it is a stew really oh fabulous all right let's plate it up see how it looks wow it is packed full of flavor packed full of goodness look at that just a minute i'm just going to fancy this up a little bit with some chopped parsley actually i'm going to put the all of it in here and just put a little bit on top of here just to make it look pretty 
And I'll just stir this in. All right, there you have it. Creamy seafood chowder. Absolutely easy to do. A lot of steps, but you know, uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Good food. All right, let me give it a taste. First of all, the broth. Mm. Oh, so rich in flavor. And some fish. Mm. Perfectly done. This is a hit, Dan, a hit. And Matthew and Max, you're getting yours. We're going to do a, a curbside delivery for you. So there you have it. Creamy seafood chowder. I hope you like this. It's a few steps, but you know, good food always takes time. Um, if you like what you see, if you like what you see here, what I did, please give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe and share. Be, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, stay safe. And most of all, forget the mess and enjoy your creamy seafood chowder. See you next time.